Welcome to the Unmastered Art of Baking. I'm Fran, student and baking enthusiast. Now you 
need to put your bowl somewhere warm in your house. You want to leave it for about an hour or until the dough has doubled in size. This is just the yeast working and it's quite an important stage. So take your dough out of the bowl. And what we need to do now is uh, shape it into our dishes or onto our tray. So I'm going to split the dough in half. And then just form it into a nice circle. What I'm going to do for the loaf tin, just going to stretch it out, flatten it. You don't want to have too many air pockets. So just pack them out and then fold a bit under, pushing with your knuckles to seal it. And then just roll your dough. A nice sausage shape with your seal at the bottom. So then that can go into the loaf tin. Our freeform loaf, what I'm going to do is sort of something quite similar. I'm just going to do the same knockout to try and get rid of all the air pockets. And then I'm just going to form it into a sort of giant pita bread shape and place them on the baking tray. Now I have here two pieces of cling film which I've lightly covered in oil. This just means that it doesn't stick to your bread and you just need to cover your breads with the cling film, making sure it's airtight again as we did with the rise. And then you need to go back into your warm place for what we call a prove. For about an hour again, and they should once again double in size. Now that your bread is proved for about an hour, it should have again doubled in size. So you can see they're quite full now, which means we are ready to make our marks on the top and then into the oven. So peel off your oiled cling film, that means it comes off nice and smoothly, so I really would advise that. And then use a really sharp knife to score Ooh, hello. some lines in your bread. This just means when it cooks in the oven, this will all crust up nicely. Um, and then we'll do the same with the other one. It's gone a bit peculiar in shape, but I think it looks nice and rustic, so we'll just go with it. The sharper the knife, the better. You can see mine isn't that sharp, but you'll still get a good effect, I think. Once scored, your loaves are ready for the oven. What gives them an extra crispy crunch on the outside is if you get a baking tray and pour a bit of water into this, you can put this tray underneath your bread and it will make the oven nice and steamy, which just improves the crust. So, put your water tray underneath, and then your bread on the next shelf up. And in it goes. When your bread's golden brown and crusty, it's ready to come out of the oven. Mine is only in for half an hour, so do check it. If you flip the bread over and tap, it should sound hollow like that. And the great thing about making your own bread is you just need it to cool for a few minutes, about 10 will do, and then you can pretty much put anything in it and you've got a sandwich. That's a good crust, isn't it?